walk, I'ma walk that walk. I only speak facts. None of these bitches is seeing me, and that's just that I don't that. Stay down ten toes, I'm a real bitch. I don't play around, I walk in and kill shit. Big Cuban on my neck, cause a whole brick. Made myself a boss, now I'm a rich bitch. I'm a rich bitch. I'm a rich bitch. Big Cuban on my neck, cause a whole brick. Y'all see it? Your girl got some new hair. So no hair, her, new hair. Let me show y'all the new hair. Ooh, new hair. Ooh, new hair, boo. New hair, new hair. Okay, let me stop playing. Yes, y'all. Your girl got some new hair in, <laughs> but I ain't recording no video or nothing. Cause why? It's just a closure wig. But yeah, I'm fucking with it. I look bomb. Okay, I look a bad bitch. Like. It's so soft and it's 28 inches and it's just giving me everything that needs to be gay. Okay, period. But that is not why we're here. That's not why we are here. We are here because today we'll give you guys a story time on the time that I got caught cheating. Yes, bitch. I got caught cheating. Like, again, I just keep getting caught in 4K. Like, but anyway, this story takes place back in... 2017, yeah. I only had two relationships. Was one was with my ex that I was just with for two years, and then the other relationship was with my first boyfriend of five years. So, and that's when I got caught cheating. But whatever, we're just gonna give a little backstory to this. Hold on, first of all, I always tell y'all disregard my lashes because I look a fucking mess. Like, I'm really gonna take these bitches out. I wanted to go get a fill in, but I go outside and the bitch ties on flats, like flat as hell. Okay, so that couldn't happen. But anyway, just disregard the lashes, okay? Let's not worry about that. Let's just pay attention to me and they see it. Put some gloss on. Okay, so yeah, before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn the post notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. And give me to 6k subscribe before the end of the year, please. Can y'all do that? I'm at 5.5k right now. Can y'all give me like 400 more subscribers by December 31st? Like, is that possible? I feel like it's possible. Y'all just have to help me. You feel me? But anyway, yeah. And don't forget to come with my best friend because I live by my best friend and all my best friend love me. This is not a hard bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into this video. Quick little backstory. Me and this guy, we was best friends. Like, that was my ace bone coon. That was my brother. Like, I used to call him brother. Whatever. That was my best friend. Since seventh grade, we've been like this. And he started liking me and we ended up getting together in the 11th grade, the end of 10th grade, early 11th grade, I think. I think 10th grade was just ending and we was in the 11th grade. I don't know. Anyway, 10th or 11th grade, one of them years, it don't matter. Anywho, all throughout our little years of no relationship in high school, he was talking to multiple females, yeah. He was doing that. A bitch used to be sad as fuck. I used to be at home. I mean, I used to be at school crying and everything. Like, cause he was just giving me his phone and I go through his phone. He ain't give a fuck. He didn't even try to like delete nothing or none of that. Yeah. So he used to talk to multiple people. Some being my friends and yeah, some just being people that I was cool with or I just knew in general. I can say that he had never physically cheated on me. Not that I know of, but at the same time, he used to cheat on me. Like, it is what it is. It was like most people be like one time he was talking to this girl and the bitch name was his password to his phone and he was just like Yeah. So he was doing all that, all that. So when we graduated, he still was doing his shit because I remember one time I was on campus and he came pick me up, you know, and I bought us food, so we finna have a little couple of little night. And boom, he was texting a girl on Snapchat. So I told him to take me back to my dorm. Yeah, so like it just it was continuing. It, it was going on for like I way up to like year four, I think. We wasn't together five years. We was knocking on five years and this when shit happened. But I think it was like for three years he was 
doing this shit. Like I said, I don't think he ever actually physically cheated on me, but as far as like texting other bitches, telling him he loved them, expressing their feelings, telling people like he really wanted to be this girl instead of me, shit like that. Yeah, he was doing it. So basically, I had got to the point where I was fed the fuck up. Y'all know us women, our mind leaves before our body does. So yeah, I had got to the point where I was fed up. Basically, he was the only guy that I ever had ever been with. Like, relationship wise, sexual, anything. So I never, you know, yeah, yeah. So boom, I started working at Hooters. I was a Hooters girl, and my very first night there, well, my very first night of training with my friend Tara, bitch, if you watching this, hey, because y'all already know what this is about. But yeah. And it was this group of guys had came in and basically they was at our table and a bitch was just, you know, talking to them and shit and it was just this one certain guy, I'm gonna call him. <laughs> I don't even know, I'm not good at giving people fake names. Like, I just really be wanting to just say their name. I'm gonna call him Billy. So yeah, it was this guy named Billy and we was just talking and talking and talking the whole night and I was fucking with him, his little vibe and shit like that. So boom, I had gave him my number <clears throat> and you know, we were just talking, like I said. I, and then also, yes, I wasn't really getting any attention from my boyfriend. <laughs> like, I worked at Hooters, so I would go to work at probably like three and get in hoodies clothes like one or two o'clock in the morning so by the time i get home he would never be at the house he was always you know somewhere with his brother or with his friends smoking some shit so you know i'm gonna go to sleep because i gotta go to work in this morning and then when i get up to go to work he sleep so we was not talking to each other barely we just really just slept in the same bed together i wasn't giving him no cootie head like i really and i had basically i had been here told him like i didn't want to be in a relationship and shit no more but he still wanted to be in a relationship. And honestly, y'all, I can't say that he wasn't doing shit while I was doing my shit, but it was just the fact that I was just fed the fuck up and I didn't want to do it no more. He was like finally trying to get it right, but it was like too fucking late. Like you should have been, you know how I was about you. And like at the time that I was like that about you. You feel me? So yeah, so I really wasn't getting any attention from him anyway. So I had to start talking to this Billy or whatever. He was cool, he was cool. And yeah, of course things happen. We went like we went to the movies. He used to always come to Hooters to see me and stuff like that. He used to always come see me and stuff. And um, yeah, he's come to Hooters all the time. He'd come see me. He used to just be a great channel though. He used to give me money. He you know he used to buy me food. It was just real cool. Like it, we were, <laughs> we was just hey he honestly y'all he had my fucking head gone like cause let's be honest. I only had been with one guy, so it was just like, okay, this something new for me. And then we had, you know, did to do or whatever, and it was just like, bitch. <laughs> like, it was just, I, everything was just new because I had never had anything other than my boyfriend, and I, I never had never like entertained no other guys and stuff like that. So it was just new. So yeah, my head was gone, like, gone. Okay, honey. But here's how I got caught cheating. I actually almost got caught a couple of times, but yeah. So Billy knew that I had a situation or whatever. So yeah, that was that. But um, one time I was at Hooters, you know, Billy was there and I was waiting on him and stuff. And then the people was like, this thing you got to um, somebody request for you. And I was like, who's for request for me? And Billy already said, child, it was my boyfriend. I was like, Nigga, not you coming to my job. Nigga had never came to hoops at all. But yeah, that I could have got caught then. Let's just be honest. I could have. But I didn't. But the way that I got caught is because you know Apple products, you can link all your shit together. So I had an iPhone, I had a MacBook, and I had an iPad. So one day, um, I'm at work at Hoover's. Doing my list, you know, doing what I needed to do, you know, working and shit. I did not see Billy today, but you know, we was texting and stuff like that. Like I said, of course, yes, we had had sex by the end. Like, me and Billy was like, we had been talking for like a couple weeks, months. I feel like two months before I got caught, but yeah, um, basically, the way that I got caught is because my ex went through my iPad, my iPad was connected to my phone. So he going through my iPad and stuff. He reading all our messages between me and the boy. You know, even the message that I was sitting here while I was at work. Bitch. <laughs> so yeah. So that happened. And then, so he called me while I was at work at Hooters. He called me and I'm like, I'm looking at my phone. 
I'm like, hello. He was like, you for her little baby? So I'm like, what? What you talking about? He was like, are you fucking another nigga? I was like, nah, you know, trying to fucking lie, bitch. When I tell y'all, that nigga start reading the messages to me. I was caught in 4K, bitch, caught red-handed. He, it, it's, there's no way I could lie about them text messages. He was reading that shit verbatim to me and I couldn't sit there and pretend like I ain't know what the fuck he was talking about. I ain't know what the fuck was happening. So I was just like, I'm finna come home. <laughs> Cause it ain't shit else I can say. I just was like, I'm finna, I'm, I was like, I'm finna come home. He hung up on my face. So I'm in worry like, bitch, I'm telling Tara and my other friends, I'm like, bitch, this nigga done went through my shit. And he done found out about Billy and Dude, he probably gonna whoop my ass. Like, let's just be honest. He probably finna beat the fuck out of me. Like, so, <laughs> oh shit, yeah, y'all. So I get to the house. He's standing outside on the balcony, and I'm like, fuck, I can't even get myself to get up while walking the door because you already outside. Wait on the bitch, bitch. He was waiting on me at the door. He was waiting on me at the door. Okay, and I'm just like, and y'all, when I saw him, I'm like. My heart fell to my ass and I just instantly regretted everything because like I could just see all the hurt and shit in his face. And like I said, this was my best friend. And I can just see that shit in his face. And I was just like, fuck. I done fucked up. Even though he done did shit to me over the course of the years that we've been together, it was just like Damn. But you know, Nick, they always say niggas can't take what they dish out and they can't. They can never take what they dish out. But I regret this shit so bad and he was like crying and shit and I was just like I don't know I told you I ain't wanna be together no more you know shit like that so I think I, I ended up leaving the house I had you know I was I also was doing babysitting at this time babysitting this girl and her three kids and she stayed like right across the street from us so I had you know you know going to stay at her house for like a couple weeks or whatever but me and my boyfriend we were still like communicating and stuff he was still like he wanted to work on us and you know he wanted to do what he could to um get us back right he basically was telling like he basically was telling me like he felt like it was his fault that i cheated on him because you know of course all the shit that he did to me and then like i said we wasn't even talking to each other we barely even seen each other like when i come home he gone and shit like that so yeah, he still wanted to be me real quick because I'm a good girl. Like, why would you not want to be me? Like, I'm that bitch, okay, period. <laughs> yeah, he still wanted to be me and shit. So he was still doing little shit. Like, he was taking me on dates and shit. But of course, I'm still talking to Billy because I like Billy. Like, I like him. I like him. Or oh, whatever. But it's just like, okay, I like Billy, but you know, we'd have been together all down that five years and stuff like that. And plus, Billy was like treating the bitch right for the moment because, baby. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was not fucking worth it. But anyway, um, yeah, so one day he had sent me on a little date and we went back to our apartment. And next thing, next thing I know, this nigga is like on his knees. I'm like, what are you doing? And y'all, he proposed me. <laughs> and I'm like, why is you proposing to me if you just caught me cheating on you? Like, I was not understanding. What was his reason to be proposed to me? Because I you think I'm proposed to a bitch that I just caught cheating. That I just I know for a fact this bitch was fucking my niggas. I read the messages. Like, you think I'm gonna propose to that bitch? So I wanna understand it. So basically, yeah, he had proposed to me, he had my man ring and stuff. I accepted I accepted the ring, but I also had just told him I was like, I don't think a marriage will or oh, I said I don't think us getting married. Will fix our relationship like because then we just gonna be married and still gonna have the same problem like i'm still gonna feel like you know you don't appreciate me i'm still gonna feel like you don't, you know like you still gonna be doing what the fuck you want to do and i'm still gonna do wrong and we just be mad now we just out here married for no fucking reason like i best just tell him i don't feel like you know that's going to help the situation i feel like we should just work on our relationship and build and do shit like that then think about getting married a couple of years out of line because bitch that was that's not long. I mean, at the time I was what 19, 20, because I wasn't even 21. So yeah, I was like 19, 20. So I was just like, 
it's not gonna work. Like, and I basically, you know, said no to the proposal and shit like that. And then, yeah, he he was cool about it, but I'm pretty sure it probably hurt his feelings. Like I said, he still, he really wanted to be with me. He still wanted to be with me. <laughs> but, yeah, he really wanted to be with me, but it was just at the point, like, I knew I was over it. I knew, like, it just wasn't something I wanted to deal with no more. Like, if y'all under, like, I really, I really want to give a story time on how I felt. All them times I caught him texting another girl or texting my friend telling her she loved him. She loved, I mean, he loved her and she like that. You know, I will give story time on that, but I don't know. But y'all, yeah. So it was just like, I don't like, I, how can I fucking trust that you not gonna do something shit you did? How can I trust, like, that you not gonna finna go, like, huh, that you not finna go try to get you some get back? Cause bitch, you might wanna go fuck a bitch and then I'm sure enough gonna be through so yeah i was just like no this not gonna work like because in my and then in all honesty y'all i had this other nigga in my ear feeding me bullshit you know doing shit that you would want your man to do so it's just like i don't give a fuck about you because i got this new nigga and he's just saying all the right shit at the moment and all i get from you is you know pain i'm crying and shit and i got this nigga you know so so yeah so me talking to that other nigga was the whole was like the whole reason why I was just like, yeah, I'm cut it, I'm done, I don't I don't wanna do that shit no more. We can be friends. He didn't wanna be free of me. He was just like, I can't be your friend. Big niggas can't ever be my friend after we go together because my other ex said that he was like, I can't be your friend. Like, why y'all can't be my friend? I'm cool. I'm the ex you wanna get to worry about. You heard me? We can be friends. But yeah, that's how I got caught cheating y'all because my iPad was connected to my phone and y'all, I would never do that shit again. I also got a story with my last relationship, but I wasn't cheating. But it's kind of similar how like my shit was connected, and yeah. But y'all, yeah, I would never in my life connect my shit <laughs> together again. Like, bitch, no, everything's separate. My iPad that I got now I got its own phone number. Okay, I only wear my Apple Watch. I only got my Apple Watch connected to my phone. I only none of my shit connected because it's basically dry snitching out here. Like you basically snitching. My computer, none of this shit is connected together. None of it. Why would it be? No. So yeah, that's what happened. But long story short, this was really a, a really just a little short story. But I just want to tell y'all, girls, don't be out here connecting y'all shit together. It's all it's it seems cool and stuff. But if you're gonna be on bullshit, don't don't be a dummy like me. Also, you guys, let me just say, when I first cheated on him, I had called my mama because I am not a cheater and I am not somebody that can like hurt people and try to pretend you know i don't know but that shit was eating my ass up do you hear me like i wanted to tell on myself so fucking bad i had called my mom and i was like mom i cheated da, 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 da. like it's bothering me it's it was fucking with my, my motherfucker what's the cheat my conscience like it was eating me up bitch it was eating me up i wanted to snitch so bad my mom was like why the fuck you snitch on yourself like she best called me dumb bitch and like in a hundred different ways <laughs> she was like you don't fucking snitch on yourself you take that shit to the grave with you like you know you feel bad don't do the shit again take it to the grave but bitch i was still doing it but yeah you know what had happened but yeah i had i actually did feel bad I, to this day i still feel bad every time me and him talk or we see each other i still tell him like i feel bad because that's not me like i don't do this shit i ain't cheated i don't know about else but i'm just saying like I felt bad because for one, I knew the Nick, the kind of guy that he was deep down the side, but he had been hurt before. And he had been hurt right before we got together. And basically he, I guess, caught himself trying to take this shit out on me. But yeah, I still be, I, t I tell him every time, like that shit still fuck with me. I hate I did that because like I said, that was my best friend. Like you would not see me without him or him without me. Like at each other house every day. Like that was my, that was my boy. He's still my boy, but yeah. That's all for this story time. I know it was kind of short, but I just wanted to give y'all a little story time. I'm thinking of other shit that done happened in my life that I can tell y'all about because I know y'all like my story time. So, yeah. But I love y'all so much. Y'all like this story, get a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn to post on page so you get notified every time I upload another video. I love you guys so much. And give me to 6K, okay? Baby. Baby, baby. Yeah, and if you guys love my hair, let me know in the comment section below, baby. The camera is making it brighter than what it is, but it's really not this bright. It's really like a dark, like dark shit. Let me see if I can turn it right now. I don't know. The camera is just making it look bright red, but it's really not. It's really not that bright. Maybe because I'm sitting in front of this um, ring, this light, but 
this vanity but yeah it's really not it's not as bright as it look like it's really like a dark dark color but it's giving it's cute as fuck okay period but yes thank you guys for watching this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you on my next one they have a conversation on the trending topic i'm just trying to see what's in your